The law of flow is a spiritual practice that emphasizes the importance of living in harmony with the natural rhythms and cycles of life. It involves letting go of resistance, trust in the process, and aligning with the universe's energy. In this episode, we're going to talk about ways to help you understand the law of flow and provide practical steps to integrate it into your life for greater ease and fulfillment. Hi, my name is Stacy. Welcome to my channel. I've got a little bit of everything on your spiritual awakening journey. Now, let's get into today's episode and give you five ways to be in the law of flow. When you think of flow, think of water, how it just moves effortlessly through the river, um, through the river, through the ocean, through wherever. It just flows. Think of a tree. A tree does not strain to grow. When you plant it, it moves effortlessly until it becomes this big, beautiful tree or this big, beautiful plant or whatever it's supposed to be. It's about the path, the least resistance. It's about not straining and forcing your will upon the universe, but rolling with the cosmic laws and being in flow. It's about knowing if you keep trying and trying at this one thing and you keep getting rejected, 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 then the law of flow is letting you know to take away your attention to it, focus your energy on something else until that flows into your existence. It may not be the divine timing for you to have that particular thing, but you're trying to force it. Stop trying to force the efforts. That's why when you're trying to force a diet, like I'm going to do it this time, I'm going to do it, it doesn't work. But when you naturally feel like it's time, you just naturally just all of a sudden start losing this weight by not even trying, taking more walks, doing more things that are less restrictive. Now let's get into the first step is to embrace change and let go of the resistance like I was just stating. Resistance to change creates stagnations and blocks the natural flow of life. You must be open to change. You must be open to things moving in a different direction. That's the way to embrace the law of flow. Let go of the resistance. If you keep trying to hold on to that one particular way that the universe can let in what you want in, then you are resisting the law of flow and you're not letting it flow into your natural existence. What you want to do is practice acceptance and adaptability. Recognize when you are resistant change and consciously choose to let go and flow with the new situation. The second thing is you want to trust in the timing of the universe. It's not on your time when you want something. It's on divine timing of when it's supposed to be. So if you notice you're getting a lot of resistance and things are coming, it's not, it may not be your time. And just trust in the timing. The timing is always right and it's almost more, always more beautiful than you expect it. If you want a million dollars, you're not going to get the million dollars tomorrow. You're not in the state of mind to let that flow into your reality yet. You must trust in divine timing. You may get that million dollars tomorrow and blow it within a month because you're not vibrationally trained to that kind of wealth at this time. So the universe is not going to give you, God is not going to give you more than you can handle. It's going to give you exactly what you can handle in the divine timing. The third step is you want to stay present and mindful. In order to be in flow, you want to stay present and you want to be mindful. Your power is always in the present moment. Being present allows you to align with the flow of life and respond intuitively to what arises. So when you are being fully present in the now and being fully present and engaged in what you are doing in the very moment, in the day, in the minute, listening to me right now, You're staying present. Now the universe can allow a whole bunch of stuff to flow into your existence that's going to make you be more present and aware and happy. Practice mindfulness. Practice deep breathing. Pay attention to what's going around you and be fully engaged in it. Not thinking about the past and not thinking about the future. Your present moment is where your power lies. If you want to make more money, if you want to attract that great love of your life, What can you do presently today in this moment, in this second, to bring that in? Could it be be more happy, be in a better mood, discover yourself a little bit more, do some stuff that raises your vibration, 
because if you're trying to manifest from what didn't happen yesterday or in the past, that's not staying present. That's not allowing things to flow into your existence. The next step is you would want to align with your inner self. Flow occurs naturally when you are aligned with your true self and your inner purpose. Not when you're aligning to something else, someone else's vision, someone else's purpose. You're not in flow. This can happen a lot with kids when they're going into college and they don't know exactly what they want to do, but their parents are telling them what to do and where to go. And it's just not flowing right. Things are just not working out right. You might not be getting accepted to the right colleges. You may get accepted to the college, but it's not one that you want to be in because it's not aligned to who you really want to be. Align yourself with your inner truth. Align yourself with who you are authentically. That's what's going to be more magnetic and flow into your existence. You must align to what you truly want to be. If you want to paint and draw and sell those out to people on uh, in the public in that way, and you don't want to be the doctor or the lawyer or anything of that, then be who you want to be. That is going to flow a lot more easier for you. And you'll find yourself that you will actually be able to make money off of this because you are being your authentic self and it's aligning with who you are at the core so things can flow into your existence. Universe and God loves to make you happy, loves to make you happy. To me, universe and God is one and the same. Um, ever so thing, big thing that is above us and made us as above, monitoring us and helping us guide us, okay? So it's going to give you what you want as long as you're being authentic to and aligning to your true inner self. The fifth one is you want to release control and surrender, Trying to control every aspect of your life disrupts the flow. Surrender and allows the universe to guide you. If you're trying to dictate every single moment of the day and how would it go, you're not in complete surrender. Yes, you make your intentions, you know what you want, and you plan accordingly. You must have some logical masculine energy within it by writing things down what you want and take the proper steps. But if you're trying to micromanage that, that ain't going to be in flow. <laughs> Things are not going to flow in your existence when you're trying to micromanage everything. You're trying to micromanage how your um, your significant other moves, talks, walks. You're trying to micromanage your children. You're trying to micromanage your friends. It's not going to work. And you're trying to micromanage how the universe is going to show up for you and give you what it is that you say you desire. If you desire something big, the universe knows, God knows how to bring that to you. But you're trying to micromanage little steps to say, oh, it has to come in that way and it just doesn't work. It's not in flow. You're in a resistance. When it comes easy to you, when it shows up right away and it's just like effortlessly, you're just in that receiving feminine energy, then the things will come into your existence and flow more naturally and easily, okay? So just guys, remember, embrace and change. Trust in timing, stay in present, aligning with your true self, and releasing control and surrender are good ways to step into the state of flow. And understanding and applying the law of flow can bring greater ease, harmony, and fulfillment in your life. By embracing change, trusting in the universe, timing, and staying present, and aligning in, and releasing control, you can move through life with grace and confidence and make stuff a lot easy instead of swimming up stream to get what you want all the time like a salmon you can flow way more effortlessly if you're interested in learning more about universal laws and learning about being in the flow and being in receiving mode i have online schools and courses for empaths and light workers on their spiritual journey or even if you don't consider yourself an empath or light worker you just want to develop more your spiritual journey I have um, some courses that are listed below from my School on Manifesting, School on Energy Healing, and I have one school. I am an advocate for numerology. Love, love numerology. It helped me along my path a lot. So I have a numerology academy link below that's going to help you guys. For whoever feels drawn and is interested in learning more about their selves and their challenges and their weaknesses and need more guidance along this journey. And yes, YouTube is great, but sometimes you need a little bit extra. Okay.